Good day everyone. In the comments on the um, YouTube video I posted for the Ember Drive, um, uh, a fellow uh, guitar pedal builder pointed out that um, the transistor actually used in the uh, circuit that the Ember Drive is based on uh, may not have actually used a, a 2N5088 and um, he said that he had an original um, uh, pedal that, that the Ember Drive is based on and he actually scratched off the nail polish that was on the transistor covering the part number and found that he's actually had an MPSA 13 um, pretty sure it was MPSA 13 or 18 I can't remember I could I'm pretty sure it was 13 um, so I'm actually going to um, uh, this is a this is a new revision of the um, of the Ember Drive board um, if you buy one now you'll get the that's my finger in case you're wondering what that thing is um, <laughs> you'll get the transistor uh, uh, the transistor will be spaced for socketing um, so you can change um, the transistor, you can put a socket in and you can experiment with different transistors um, which I think is a better option than just having the one uh, the, the one the spacing just so you can solder the, the transistor straight in um, yeah so if you're going to put in a 1590A though just make sure that you allow enough enough um, height for it, you might need to bend the um, transistor forward just so it um, so it will fit in with the lid on, but um, uh, yeah, I've gone for socket at, so, for a socket now um, for this one, um, so that you can experiment like um, I'm about to do now. Um, so I've got a 2N3904 uh, in there at the moment, um, and I'm just going to go through my parts box and see if I can find any other um, just general purpose NPN transistors and see um, see what uh, see what we get um, with with those. Um, and I'll also um, I'll also put the gains that these um, that these transistors have. Um, so that you can see as the gain goes up what happens um, with the sound. I haven't even tested this yet. I have absolutely no idea what they're going to sound like. They might sound misbiased and terrible. Um, they might sound better as the gain goes up. Uh, you might like the lower gain stuff. It might sound more like an overdrive and less fuzzy. Um, that's part of the fun of do-it-yourself guitar pedals. So uh, I'm going to mic this one up um, and let's, uh, let's hear what they've got to say for themselves. So as we um, change the transistor and increase the gain, you can hear that the um, the transistor, uh, the circuit, starting to misbias, and that's why it sounds like a mis uh, has a sort of a misbiased fuzz kind of sound. You may like that, you may not. Um, if you put the socket in, you can play around with it and decide whether you like it yourself. The original may have had an MPSA 13, and perhaps that um, perhaps the gain control on the front. Um, I was going to say perhaps a gain control on the front would actually help it to bias correctly, but you're actually going to just be reducing the size of the signal, so I'm not quite sure how that works. Maybe one of you guys can um, um, can chime in here, um, but you, I did add that little bit with the tone control at the start. I turned it right down, and as you heard, the smaller the signal um, trebles on the left, and you add more bass content as you go to the right. Um, I, I, I had to actually turn the bass up full, um, to get it to sound not quite so misbiased, so um, you could put a uh, you could put a booster in front of it to increase the um, signal size, or you could just play around with the resistors and bias it um, differently so that it um, doesn't sound quite so misbiased. 
if you if you felt like you wanted to go with the MPSA 13 and have it sounding more um, more like um, more like a suppose a bit like a sort of like a fuzz um, but yeah, it's interesting to see how that turned out um, uh, it's one for experimentation I think um, and um, I mean even if you if you do like the misbiased um, sound you could put a, a, a switch so a foot switch so you could switch between um, the lower gain transistor a 2N3906 or a 2N5088 or and then flick between um, to one of the Darlingtons the MPSAs um, but I'd be actually interested to hear this thing with a even lower gain um, transistor and I've got a bunch coming in um, that I'm pretty sure is lower gain than the one that we just tried um, you could also if you've got a HFE test on the front of your multimeter because these are silicon you can use um, you can use that transistor tester on the front and test the um, uh, test the transistors and then get the lowest one the lowest gain one that you can find and do a comparison with that I think I, I, I personally prefer the lower gain stuff I think it sounds better than the um, than the MPSAs, um, but um, yeah, if you had a foot switch, you could maybe if you do a lead break, you can switch to the um, this bias fuzz and give it a really gnarly sort of sound. You know, um, the options are, are kind of limitless, I guess. Um, but it was an interesting test anyway, and um, yeah, I'd encourage socketing that transistor so that you can play around with it and find which one you like the best. So thanks for watching. Hope you like the um, sound comparison, um, and yeah, obviously if you need one of these boards, they're on my web store. Thanks for watching.